temperature has changed. Look at that. Literally, we go from heat to not cold, but just because we're higher up, I you can eat. tell the terrain changes. So the first attraction that we're going to be visiting is the Hemelos. Um, so they're like two depressions. This one and this one. Now we're going to start over here. We're just going to go around it, see the other one, and it goes around it and comes back to the road, basically. Um, here you go. That's what it says there. Welcome to Los Gemelos. The circular trail will allow you to enter the majestic geological formations and discover a beautiful botanical walk. We invite you to enjoy the spectacular Scalicia forest. Let the small details seduce your lynchens, bromeliads, orchids, ferns, and mosses, which create a landscape of beauty and harmony. All right, let's start. This is the depression that they were talking about. In real life. Yeah, in the Very photos close. you can't really tell what it is, but here it's deep. It's gone down. It's pretty cool. Wow. And then it's obviously foggy and whatnot. So we cross the road, and the gemelos are not volcanoes. That's what it says. Geologists call them collapsed craters. At the ground, you are stepping on. The magma flowed until the volcanic activity came to an end. When the liquid rock cooled down and contracted, unstable zones were left. As time went, they collapsed and built holes or craters that you're looking at. And that is the second depression here. This one's bigger, it seems so. Wow. Yeah, and then let's see what it says here. The Scalicia forest and its birds. Oh, we saw one earlier in the video. I don't know if you clocked it. The Scalicia forest is one of the habitats of different species of Darwin's finches, the vermilion flycatcher and the Galapagos flycatcher. The adult male vermilion flycatcher, scientific name, has a brilliant red color, while the female has less colorly, having a yellow-white breast. No, that's not the one we saw. The Galapagos flycatcher is slightly bigger in size than the vermilion flycatcher and it has a brown head, gray and yellow breast. In the area of Los Gemelos, it can be also seen eight Darwin's finches, including the woodpecker finch, which uses a thin stick as a tool to dig larvae or catch little insects. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so these finches in their beaks were essentially what Darwin came to study while he was looking into the forming the idea of evolution. It was like the shape of them and how they could, you know, wow. change and evolve over time and get the larvae. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, look up into that. As a kid, I used to be really interested in animals and insects. And then obviously, you know, life happens. But we will be revisiting them during this week that we are here. It's also interesting if you study biology in most yeah in high school biology classes you always learn about the origin of species yeah and that all comes from this these islands oh wow okay yeah and biology was one of the classes i topped should have been a biologist instead of a nerd a it geek but hey we're here now and the land that darwin it became on. a bit Jurassic Parky. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing all these moss hanging. I Very birds, no, I just saw a grey one earlier. But it was not the same one. It was not a small one. It could have been like the same, I don't know. Not what we're looking for. If you guys see it in the video, just comment and let me know. Like there's a bird down there on the right or left. Nature will take out everyone. It's not that one. It's not that one. Or is it? And it said it had a yellow breast, right? Yeah, that sort of looks yellow. Such a cute one. Hmm. And there's one down there. Somewhere. There's one on the ground over there as well. That's a darker colored one. And that's that. So it's a little circular route. 
which uh, Take, took what half an hour? I don't know. Let's see. Save it. Anyways, it's a circular route uh, that takes yeah less than half an hour, I'd say, or just about half an hour. Yeah. Not long. So we've entered the Tortuga Crossing Private Ecological Reserve, El Chato Ranch. And it's just a small like place, but you can see already, big ass tortoise. But yeah, we're gonna get in, check out a few more, and uh, yeah. Oh? No, 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 like I said, he's a little bit under average size. There is bigger ones as we go into the, into the woods over there. From the locals, also people that take tortoises as pets. Then when Charles Darwin visited the islands, he actually took one of the tortoises from here. Harriet was um, taken care of by the crocodile hunter in its last years, Steve Irwin. And he died in Australia. We think that he was about 184 years old when he died. But we still know that tortoises in captivity tend to have a much higher um, rates of stress. And at the end of their life, when we check their the immediate layer of mud that way they can sustain the temperature for long periods of time so it's normal that they come here to sleep you can see we have a lot of tracks of tortoises that have been here today most of them have already gone out and they're eating over there you can see them moving we're about to go there but it's um, also difficult for the tortoises to manage the time in the mud and the time outside sometimes they spend too much in the mud and their shells will get soft, the keratin will start to break off and like this one, it starts... <laughs> You'll see the behavior of the tortoise react to people getting by, he's looking at us, making sure that we're not going to eat him. <laughs> no. But it's more than really a fear to humans as predators, they uh, attraction. So these females are here and they will be here for about a month or two months, gathering sperm from four or five different males during that time. When they are ready and they The owner of the ranch wanted to give the tortoises a good place to sleep before uh, they started the, the ranch, so they built this to attract more to this uh, location. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And then we have these little ducks. These are white chipped pintails. They clean the water, they eat parasites, worms, or larvae that are growing in the water, so it's a, a self cleaning pond now. The ducks are natural to the environment of the Galapagos. This is an endemic species of the island, actually. Sleepy, sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Where the roof was too thin, the erosion, the weight of the trees made it crumble down. These lava flows date about 1.5 million years ago, so it's been a long time for this erosion to happen. Any of the places that were loose have already collapsed, and the tunnel that we're going to go through is very stable. different layers from different eruptions. This is one tunnel. We have a second tunnel going on top. Most of the roof of the second house already collapsed. And then we have the third one, which is now the surface of the island. Be careful with your hands. All right. So the side of the second tunnel. There's the uh, 
cuevas de viento yeah, in uh, El Hierro, uh -huh. which is like mid high of the mountains. Yeah. And those actually have water is flowing from the sides and stuff, you know. Like they, they study it because they know that, you know that famous um, landslide that they're talking about? If there's a landslide, it'll create a, yeah. a tsunami that will like, obliterate the east coast of the US. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're studying. Wow. Okay, so this is another natural cave that's formed by lava that when it dries, it just depresses inside. And as the guy was saying earlier as well, there's several stages of it. This one, I don't know if I can tell that there's a different... Yeah, there is. So you can see that this part is one stage and the upper part is a different stage. Um, but yeah, you can also see water seeping through it here. Water falling on us. Fresh lava water. Oh, wow. Look at that. Let me take a picture here. Essentially a collapsed. Uh, yeah, because the um, top layer is the thinnest sometimes. And then if it is not used, the gases and all that don't maintain the pressure. And eventually just collapses. Exploring some caves. Exploring some caves. Just... Ah.